video, we will continue with the Factor Theorem. You will find this on page 387 in the Namibia AS Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Cubic Equations If PX is this, a polynomial of degree 3, okay, so it's AX3 plus BX squared plus CX plus D, I cannot be 0, then this is called a cubic equation. To solve a cubic equation, we first use the factor theorem to find a linear factor, and then you can factorize further. So now that we did factorization of cubic expressions, we can basically solve cubic equations. And that's what I'm going to show you. So let's look at this example. Solve this. So use the factor theorem by trial and error <coughs> to first find a linear factor. So just factorize first. Cons consider the factors of the constant term, the positive and the negative. So 3 um, um, of 3 can be plus minus 1 or plus minus 3. Therefore, test the following. 1, the positive, the negative, the positive, the negative. Okay. Then, this is your equation. Then test whether this is a factor. So you sub, no, it's not. Test this one. No, it's not. Okay. Test this one. X minus 3. Oh, this one is a factor. So therefore, X minus 3 is a factor. Now, you can either do long division or synthetic division. The short one, call it the short one, but it's actually synthetic division. Okay. So, and then you get your quadratic expression. And then you factorize that. And then, actually, it's so easy then. Because it's equal to zero, you solve it just like a quadratic equation. You put this bracket, it's either this bracket that's zero, or this bracket that's zero, or this bracket that's zero. And then there is your three answers. Okay. And that, just for the interesting, and I always like connections, because I think connections makes that you understand the maths better. So say you were having this issue. Now this... Okay, now I must just change my pin. Cubic, oh, still not changed. It's doing this. So it's cutting the x-axis at how many points? At three points. That is now not the graph because all of them is positive, so it's like sitting there. But that is cutting the x-axis at three points. Okay, that's just for understanding. I want you to stop the video, and I think one is enough. Um, let's just do number A. You can do more, but for the video's sake, it's not a very difficult method. I think I can just do one. Okay, let's write it down. So it's 2x to the power of 3 plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 3, and that's equal to 0. Okay, now, if I'm going to factorize this, the first thing, I'm going to just take the expression and I'm just going to factorize the expression. So first I'm going to search for a factor. Now remember what I told you? I, I told you that you can test, because it's 3, the factors of 3, it's 1 and 3. So basically you're going to test for x plus 1, x minus 1. x plus 3 x minus 3. Okay, so let's start by doing that test. Okay, so as soon as I put it in there, I'm just going to check quickly what is that factor that I got there. Okay, there. So let's start by 1. 1. Let's start with the first one, x plus 1. So if I'm going to say, okay, let's just say, uh, and then I substitute negative 1. So let's just see 2, negative 1, 3, plus 3, negative 1 squared, minus 8, negative 1, plus 3. Okay, let's see what we get. So this is, this is becoming negative 2, because it's negative. This one, it's, so it's 3. This one is 8, plus 3. So now it looks too, too, too big. Can you see? So 8, 9, 10, 11, no, it's too big. Okay, but what I'm going to do, you can do it with pencil, because then I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to see if this was all positive. Okay. 
Now I'm testing this one, remember. So now I put a positive one in. So let's see what I get then. I get 2, I get 3, I get negative 8, and I get 3. So 3, 6, oh, can you see? That's 0. Do you see? So therefore, x minus 1, no, minus 1 is a So x minus 1 is a factor. Now, I prefer that you do the short division, if you can. And it's on this level, I think it's important that you must conquer that. Okay, but you can do the long division also. Okay, just remember, if this is a factor, then I put a 1. It's like I put that one that I saw, or the one that I, after I equals 0. Okay, and now I'm just going to take, can I show you? The 2, the 3, the negative 8, 3. Just make sure 3, 2, 1, nothing. It's good. So it's the 2, the 3, the negative 8, and the 3. Okay, bring this one down. So if I bring it down, it's 2. If I multiply, it's 2. Then it's 5. If I multiply, it's 5. And I, I, every time I simplify this, negative 3. If I multiply, negative 3. And if it's a factor, I must get to 0 there. The remainder must be 0. No x, then a x, then a x squared, and there's your plus. Okay, now I must factorize this also. Just move it like that. So basically, if I'm going to factorize this, okay, let's first write it down. I'm having x minus 1, and I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Now I'm going to factorize this. Now let's see. Then this one is 3 and 1, and because it's subtraction, I must get the 6 minus 1, it's 5. The biggest overcross get a plus, and this gets a minus, and this is x, x. So it's x minus 1, it's x plus 3, and it's 2x minus 1. Okay, but now, now don't forget... If I put it in the equation, this is equal to zero. So you can actually already run with equals because that was just to help you, but now it's an equation. Okay. Now I can basically just go and say this is equal to zero. So it's x minus 1 is equal to zero or x plus 3 is equal to zero or 2x minus 1 is equal to zero. So therefore x is 1, x is negative 3, or x is a half. Okay, and that will be my, all my answers. x is 1, x is a half, or x is negative 3. Okay, maybe I just want to show it to you on the graph side. Okay, if I must make a rough sketch, because I was talking about the sketch, I want to show you just, um, oh, let's rather make it, not so sharp. Okay. Now, it's like this. If this, if this is positive, positive, then it means that the graph will first have a positive gradient if it's cubic. So it will first go up. Okay. Now, I mark this point. So what did I set? Oh, it seems to me I cleaned this one. So this was 1. So where is it cutting? It's cutting, say, at 1. And it's cutting at negative 3. And it's cutting at uh, a half. So basically, I can, and I see also it's going to be, say, there at three. So this graph will maybe go something. I don't, I can work out, I already showed you the turning points in our other chapter. But this graph, oh, sorry. Basically, it's going, say, up, no. Oh, not nice. Then it's doing this. Okay, so it's maybe not that, but that is basically what this graph is doing. Okay, cutting at that three points, the x-axis. Okay, because my graph didn't look so nice to me, I decided to go to Symbol Lab and just see how the real graph is looking. And I just want to show you quickly. Okay, 
Now, I, I think maybe in later chapter, chapters, I will explain this better. But for now, I just want to show you, I just want to see if I can move this now. Make it short and smaller. Okay. I think this is a better picture. So basically what you can do is you just go, you just Google Symbolab. Then you just go on graphing. And then you just type in that equation. You can basically just type in the expression because it's already y equals. And now this was better. This graph looked better. So it's cutting. The points were correct. Um, let's see if I can make it a bit bigger. But I don't think. Oh, it seems to me I can make it bigger. And let's just see if I can show you. Okay. So this graph look a little bit better. So it's always good to make a sketch. I think if I did it um, on a grid, it would have been nice and I would have seen it better. But there is your, uh, your points. That point was there. It's going to cut at negative three. It was cutting there at a half and it was cutting at one and it was first going up. Okay, so make use of this symbol lab. Go to graphing, type it in. Just for your own practice. In the exam, you cannot do it. But if you keep on practicing and seeing the pictures, it's going to help you and it's going to stay in your memory.